Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, great Biafra friends all over the world, lovers of freedom across the world, Pan African movement. You know, I want you to help me to see the epitome of self hate that we always preach about. The epitome of self hate that is happening in Nigeria. In the zoo country called Nigeria I want you to watch this video to understand that the problem of a black man is a black man the problem of Ndisoji Bundisoji it is true that the colonialists did a lot psychologically to make us to be this way we are but in this 21st century we are able to you know differentiate good from bad we are able to see good and we recognize it is good and see bad and recognize it is bad whoever that is still practicing self-hate it is it means that they want to do it because they are evil people of course you know the man uh, on top this way Innocent Motors, you know him. You know him. Innocent Motors. This man you see on top here is the first African man who started manufacturing vehicle with African brand name. With his name, from scratch, he built vehicle, and he happened to achieve that where there is no electricity. But now, guess how they want to bring him down? Through somebody he called his own brother, they speak the same language in the name that he, he managed to be to deceive his way or manipulate his way into the leadership position of governor. They are using him now to cripple or clamp down on the business of the only man who manufactures vehicle in Africa, because this is exactly what. This new colonialist, they don't want from Africa. They don't ever want you to be innovative. They don't ever want anything good to come out of you. And who are they using to make sure they achieve those things? Your own people, like Hope, who's on them. Listen to this video before we proceed. Let me not speculate on anything until you listen to this video. Listen. There's nothing wrong with innocent motors, you know, ethics. Every preservation has ethics. At the beginning of the government, uh, because of the insecurity in Imo State, we had cost to buy a lot of vehicles. And I decided to choose innocent because he's a, a local manufacturer, just to patronize him. And we placed the order for him to supply us a vehicle for over 5.3 billion naira. Uh, incidentally, he has, there's no workshop in Imo State where his vehicle can be repaired. And part of the agreement was you will put a workshop in place. Mm -hmm. As I speak to you, 70 percent of the vehicles are granted. We've paid him over 3 billion naira, and no workshop to maintain the vehicles. So and this taxpayer's money, I'm saying, come and, as promised, come and do the workshop so we can repair the vehicles and get value from them before we can pay more money. And he's trying to go about to set, uh, create sentiments here and there. I came also from the private sector. We don't throw away money. We have to get value for money. So if you think that it's by going around rather than bring a mobile workshop, which he promised, in fact, his promise is that he, he will put a mobile workshop first on ground for us to be servicing the vehicles, and then he will build a permanent workshop. So I thought it was uh, a good thing patronizing our local manufacturer, and uh, he has refused to live up to expectation. But it will be resolved. I advise him to allow wise counsel to prevail. Okay. Before we go there, of course, you see Google on top of me. There is something very important I also want us to talk about with Google. How the, your security is being breached. You know, how secure are you with Google? We are going to talk about it. This is not the one of Lai Mohammed now. We are going to talk about how Lai Mohammed assess your information from this Google that you see here. We are going to find out how because we, I have seen a story 
which I'm going to talk about. But first of all, let's talk about this guy here, Hope Uzodema, and this man on top here, Innocent. Just like the video you will listen to now, he said there is too many insecurity in Imo State. He decided to procure a vehicle from a local manufacturer. A vehicle cost to uh, up to 5.3 billion naira. 5.3 billion. You procured it and you are bragging. You know, you are so proud that you procured a vehicle from local manufacturer. You are brother. You speak the same language in the seat of power. When you go to the north, they support Dangote. That is what made him the richest person in Africa. Because they support themselves. You went to his company, the only man who produced vehicle in Africa. You procure a vehicle of 5.3 billion. You did not pay. Now they have used the vehicle and the vehicle is now finished. Because they don't service it too. You now realize or start talking. We told him uh, to bring a, a service a station in Imo State. Where these innocent companies are is not up to one hour drive. If the road is good, 30 minutes is even long to drive. To go to the company to service your vehicle. You now gave him condition. Now my problem is not the condition. My problem is what do you tell to Korea when you go to buy cars, procure vehicles from them? What in, you know, condition do you say to you know Japan when you go there to procure vehicles from them? Do you have a Toyota plant in, in Imo State? The answer is no. Do you have a Korean cars plant in Imo State? The answer is no. But one of these cars are amongst the cars that this government is using. True or false? True. Because you can, those are the cars that they normally use. Now you went to procure from a local manufacturer, one leg, your brother. You were Totorumoto, 5.3 billion. Are you killing him? Are you destroying him? And you are bragging. You pay him 3.5 million. You want him to bring a local station, service station or mobile station for them to fix the vehicle that you have used finish before you will start paying him 5.3 billion. Are you listening to yourself? This is the epitome of self-wickedness. This is the epitome of self-hate. To the highest order. This is it what you are seeing here. Hope He is not only killing our people. He is not only killing our people. He is destroying people's livelihood. He is destroying, clamping down on evil businesses. That is exactly what you are seeing happening here. Because you cannot tell me you want to support a local manufacturer, your brother. You speak the same language. You owe him 5.3 billion. Is this how innovation will come to Africa? Is this how 4IR will make its way to Nigeria? When politicians will never support those who will bring it to them. Rather they want to, you know, bring them down because they want to go and get it from Europeans, from Japan, from Korea, from China. When they go there, they don't know how to make any condition in place. They don't know how to put any condition in place. But when it comes to their own people, Fahame Putasiyanya, because of their self-hate. That is the epitome of it you have watched this ignorant, you know, um, um, Fulani produce governor imposed the Nemo state people to ruin innocent so that they will continue to uplift Dangote. This is the plan. When you think about it, it is about mobile service station, mobile DC. Now you remember it is taxpayers' money. Do you remember that it is taxpayers' money you are using to buy, procure arm and bring a bubad to kill the taxpayers? You don't remember that. Now you need to pay a debt that you owe to a local manufacturer 
who if they bring you know industry you know job opportunities all these things to clamp him down so that he doesn't create those things because as long as you are hopeless or them you don't care about anybody but yourself and uh, your full and masters have you seen are you seeing the type of are you seeing what is called you know self-hate black is the problem of black in this era regardless of what colonialist did to you you are still your problem when your brother tried to rise up you try to suppress him just like you have seen Mazen Nam the Kano tried to rise up to redeem the black nation all of them came out from nowhere but to those who want to you know who want to impeach him in his position and uh, tell you the announced spokesperson those who want to impeach him in his position because they want it to be them it is all about them the whole world revolve around them that is the reason why you see faction autopilot created by politicians the same politicians because they will never want any good thing to come from them the whole world must revolve around them for so that they continue to exploit you what an evil world what an evil world let me not talk more about it so that you have time to to listen about this security information about google there is something i have seen about you know google i have seen something about google which is something i believe i can share with you for your security information let me read this news before we proceed australia court orders google to pay for the three million for misleading users pay very good attention there is a reason why i am reading this not for a personal purpose but very important information australia's competition watchdog said on friday that alphabet a inks google unit was ordered by the country's federal court to pay 60 to pay a 60 million dollars and in bracket 42.7 million dollars in penalty for misleading users on call on a collection of their personal location data personal location data i want you to collect that place put question mark there wait for me there i am coming while i proceed to read the court found google misled some customers about to personal location that are collected through their android mobile devi mobile devices between january 2017 and december 2018. google misled users into believing the location history settings on their android phone was only where location data could be collected by it i hope you paid attention to this one now let's go to that one you put question mark now they now it means that google in this android phone that me and you are using today there is a place called location service if you turn it off we believe that we have turned off our location that if there is any you are a whistleblower i hope you are paying attention because the reason why i'm saying this is for the sake of whistleblowers you are a whistleblower you know you want to remain anonymous your location you want to keep it anonymous now google will now when you switch off your location google will still collect that data the problem of collecting that data is not the case the issue of collecting the data is not the case but the problem is who are they sharing this data and the informations they are collecting with who are they sharing it with this is the question who are they sharing this data with because if you come to a place like zoo nigeria you will find out that everything there is super corrupt which means 
anybody in politics could go to Google, might go to Google and say, I want a location for so 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 person and so 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 person, bribe them. They will collect that data from you and they will give it to that person. They might exterminate you, which means your life is in danger as a whistleblower. Are you paying attention? Including we, you know, whoever that is under the influence of my voice, we need to talk about these things. How are they collecting those data without our consent? Why are they collecting it without our consent? Even when you decide not to share it, they still collect it. Where are they keeping it? How safe are they? That is what I want to touch on. Now, let us continue to read that news. When a future to monitor web and application activities also allow local data collection and storage, they collect your data through your mobile Android phones and they save it for what reason best known to them. Is it for a business purpose? Whichever department who wants it, they can actually pay. Maybe when they pay, they will release it to them. Is that a, no, I'm just um, I'm just trying to find out exactly why are they collecting our data without our information? Let me continue. This is the news I am seeing coming out from you know this one is at least coming out from Australia. Now let us continue to read the news. When the future monitor web application activity also allowed local data collection and storage, the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission ACC said the watchdog which estimates that 1.3 million Google account users in Australia may have been affected started proceeding against the company and its local unit in October 2019. Google took remedial measures in 2018. The regulator said in a in an email statement Google said it had settled the matter and added it has made location information simple to manage and easy to understand the search engine giant has been embroiled in legal action in Australia over the past year as the government mold the past mold and the past a law to make Google a meta platform, meta O, Facebook pay media companies for content on their platforms. Now, this is the end of the news. Now, my still question is, if they are collecting these data, people like him, you know, whistleblowers, because my concern is on whistleblowers. There are whistleblowers all over the world. And some of them, you will find them being cut off. You will be wondering, why are they being killed? How did they get to them? And they will, you will find them being kidnapped. Just like in the situation of Mazen Namdekan also. You find him being just taken. You will be asking yourself, who does Google share this information they collect from you without your consent? Because it is your right that you need to give a consent to share your data with these companies. Who is safe and who is not safe? Who are they sharing it with? This thing uh, is position or this, you know, analysis I am making and question that I am asking. It is for intellect to understand. It is not for people who are stupid it is for people who are intellectual who are into security department to understand what i am saying because what i am saying it is not trying to protect anything but protect whistleblowers and people that need their location to be anonymous how app is google who have access to these informations that google are collecting without our consent this is a question and a campaign we need to also start raising to know exactly what is cutting people down. Even in that zoological republic called Nigeria. Because nobody has right to go into your privacy, collect your data, which you are not willing to share with anybody. Nobody has right to do so. It is violation of privacy. It is violation of human rights. 
That's exactly what they are doing. But we are going to talk about this thing in our upcoming broadcast this afternoon. Until we meet then, stay safe. Don't forget to stay tuned because we are going to come to bring to you your daily dose on these infiltrators, on their activities that they are carrying out. Don't forget to subscribe and follow the pages where you are watching this.